to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a combined nursery tour as well as my 36 week update. Uh, I don't have a ton to talk about as far as my update because I didn't go to the doctor. Basically, she had a death in the family. She had to leave. They were going to have me see another doctor, but they asked her if it was necessary and she said that it wasn't because everything was going fine and she had checked me for like dilation and everything the week before and I was only like a centimeter. So she just said, you don't need to come in. So I really don't have any update as far as the doctor is concerned. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. But my weight is around 146-ish. And I've started to get that, um, which I feel like it's kind of late in the pregnancy to be getting this. Maybe it's not. But that little like line that you get on your stomach. Uh, I did have it last pregnancy with Warner. And I am starting to get it now. It's really not that dark at all. It's very faint, but it is there. And I also have like a little stretch mark um, like near my belly button, which I think I told you guys before, I didn't get any with Warner and I haven't had any really anywhere else, but I do have a little one right there. I have to say I wasn't as good at doing lotion and stuff this time, so maybe that's why, but I have been lathering it on every time I get out of the shower, so hopefully they don't get worse, but it is what it is. Whew. And what else? I have been so exhausted. I'm really tired and really over being pregnant <laughs> at this point. I just want the baby to be here. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it as far as my update goes. Like I said, not a whole lot. So that's why I just wanted to go ahead and film the nursery tour, which isn't extremely exciting, but you can at least get some ideas maybe or see where I got some things from. Most of it is, I, I pretty much bought a lot of the stuff, you know, pretty recently. So it should all still be available or at least give you ideas as where to like pick stuff up from or whatever. So yes, I'm just like super out of breath all the time, super tired and super ready to have this baby. I could not sleep at all last night. So I am 36 weeks and six days. Yes, tomorrow I'll be 37 weeks. So I am just like done. <laughs> I'm, I just, I hope he comes early. I hope he comes, I mean, obviously so that he's healthy and everything, but I think, I feel like when you're 36 weeks, that's full term. So maybe it'll be fine if he comes early or if he comes anytime after that, I don't know. So yeah, that is that. Not a whole lot for the update, but that's pretty much it. My hips are so sore, can't sleep. So I'm just, it's adding to my exhaustion and I'm just ready to be holding this little guy in my arms and not in my uterus anymore because it's very uncomfortable at this point. <laughs> But you don't need to be told that if you are as far along as I am or if you've had a baby before, you know that it's not comfortable. So anyways, I will stop rambling. I'm gonna show you my stomach and then I will go ahead and do the nursery tour. Okay, I am going to try and film this video while Warner is sleeping um, and he's right next door in his room so I'm gonna try and be quiet hopefully you can hear the audio and you can hear what I'm saying <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little overview of the room uh, this room is not completely 100% finished because I do want to add a few things after the baby gets here but I will show you what we have so far so first this is the door I have it shut but when you come in the room um, you have this little toy box it was actually mine when I was a little kid my grandpa made it for me back in like 
91, I think, and it used to just be wood. I painted it green since that's kind of like the pop of color that I decided to go with. And then on this wall, I'm going to do a gallery wall, I think, of pictures of the baby after we get his pictures back uh, when we do our newborn photo shoot. And then over here, this is just an old recliner that we had. It was actually my parents like a long, long time ago when I was a baby. It's a really old lazy boy, but it's super comfy and I didn't want to get rid of it. So I just bought a chair cover off of Amazon. I just got a white one and it's not the best. It was only like around $30, but it gets the job done. Then this pillow is from Hobby Lobby. This artwork is from Hobby Lobby. I thought that was so sweet, so I just picked that up and put it on there. This is an older table that I got back when we lived in California, and it is just from Marshalls, I believe. And then this lamp I recently got, and I recently got all of the other stuff besides this table. The lamp is from Target. The lampshade is from Target, and I believe they are both Threshold brand. And then I have the monitor just sitting on this table, but I need to hang it somewhere. I just don't know where yet. And then moving into this corner, I have this little chalkboard that, and the other side is just an easel that you can hang things on and um, do painting or whatever, artwork, but... I, I just had this, when this room used to just be an extra guest bedroom, I had this sign in here and that's what I had written on it. I want to put the alphabet on it or numbers or something like that so Warner can practice because he loves doing numbers and letters. But I am kind of nervous because I used a chalk pen and I don't want to mess it up. I didn't want to mess it up before I filmed this and then it just not have anything on it and be crazy looking. So... It just says home sweet home still and not that great because I do not have the best penmanship. And then I got these curtains. They're just, let me see if I can zoom in. They're just white with like a little gray, like cross almost <laughs> stitching on them. And they are from Target. And again, I believe they're Threshold brand as well as that curtain rod, it is also from Target. It's pretty thin, I probably should have bought a bigger one because these are blackout curtains and they are really heavy. So hopefully that lasts and <laughs> neither child pulls them down <laughs> off of the wall. Uh, then I have this little crib. It is a Jenny Lind crib by Da Vinci and we just got it from a little shop here in town. Then I got just, this is just a white, the white docketot. I showed you guys that in a haul that I did for my newborn haul or whatever. And then I have just a plain white sheet. I believe it is from Target as well as just a plain black crib skirt that I got from Amazon. And I recently got that so you should be able to find that as well and I think it was around $35 which it's not really the best quality it's just a simple thin cotton but it does the trick <laughs> and then I just have a little pillow in here obviously I'll just take the pillow out when the baby gets here I just had it in this room because it kind of matches the color scheme I got that at home goods and then I <laughs> I really wanted some artwork like this above the bed and I ended up making this myself and I know it does not look great but I'm using it as a placeholder until I can um, either have someone make one that looks better or I don't know buy one I couldn't find anything like this so I just went and had it framed at Hobby Lobby doesn't look great I know but whatever also this rug is the softest rug ever it is from amazon and i really wanted something fluffy well i wanted something this pattern but it was really hard to find something that wasn't like 
wool and this one is from Amazon. It's super, super soft. Warner loves to play on it. And then I also have this little black and white basket. And I just got that from Home Goods. And I, I got all of, mostly all of this recently. And then that was just an old frame. And I had that be um, from my, since my name is Brianna, I had, I just had that and I just ended up painting that frame black because it was gold and my parents were going to throw it away and I was like, I'll just take it and put it in the baby's room. His name does start with a B, so I just painted that green to kind of match this and the chalkboard. And I just hung that up there. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent fixture in this room, but just so we have something above this dresser. Um, and then this little dresser is actually... Um, just it was from my grandmother's house and when she passed away I kept it and I just redid the hardware spray painted it um, with a matte black so it kind of has a more like iron look to it uh, like a wrought iron look and yeah that's pretty much it for the dresser and then I just have a little wipe box and I ordered that thinking it was a wipe warmer it is not it's just a wipe box um, and it's this brand but it still got really good reviews and it looks like it'll be good so I think I'm just gonna put it in my other son's room and then give the baby the one that he has which is a wipe warmer because Warner hardly gets any diapers now like he's got a bladder of steel <laughs> and um, so he doesn't have to get, it's not like he's going to be getting changed as frequently as a baby, a newborn baby. So, um, yeah, I'll just switch them out probably. And then also I'll probably bring the diaper pail into here because I really don't want to have to buy another one. Um, since our rooms are right beside each other, I'll just keep the diaper pail that we have in this room. Um, so yeah. And then I just have a plain old changing pad, pretty basic. And as far as what is in the drawers, um, I don't have, like, I can't really honestly remember what all I used um, with Warner when he was first home from the hospital. So I just have some diapers in here, some wipes, and I have more diapers kind of stocked up in the closet. Little mittens and bibs, diaper cream, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then in this drawer, it's just like little swaddling blankets, burp cloths, onesies, all of the newborn clothes. And the bottom drawer doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> because, like I said, I cannot remember what in the world I even used. So yeah, this is pretty much it for the room. Pretty simple, um, but I like the color scheme. I think that it is just easy and cute, and hopefully the boys will share a room one day. Also, I need to have our internet company come and move that. I tried to move it myself, and it didn't work, so I had to bring it back in here, and yeah, that's where we're at. And Like I said, I want to do like a black and white, probably black and white photos, um, on this wall once the newborn pictures come in, which we do have scheduled and I'm so excited for. So yeah, that is it for the room and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I'm like out of breath. I'm just so pregnant right now <laughs> and that is all there is to it. So anyways, okay, well I will see you guys later.